Live from the star-filled tavern behind the Las Vegas Golden Corral, welcome to the Fall 2020 Golden Weeb Awards! And now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's host, Peter! Thank you, thank you! Welcome and Happy New Year, my Weeb and Weebets! Thank you for joining us for the Weeb Power Hour's first ever Golden Weeb Awards show. I'm your host for the evening, Peter. And with me are my three esteemed co-hosts for the night. First up, he's an actor, a director, and songwriter. It, is, that, is that right? Is he really all that? No, you're bullshitting <laughs> me. <coughs> uh, uh, give it up for Lance! Yes, yes, thank you. I am all those things and more. <laughs> 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 All right, next up, the president of the Ramen Aficionados International, or RAI for short. Ladies and gentlemen, Kai! Show me the noodle! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, he's Japanese. I think we're okay with that. Is it racist? He's okay. He's Japanese. The noodle. <laughs> We're just gonna keep rolling the keep rolling it, keep rolling it. Uh, uh, my Asians don't win at the Golden Globes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, finally, finally. He's a third rate duelist with a fourth rate deck. Back from a 20 hour RuneScape session, it's Matt. Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we have an exciting show for you all tonight. Here at the Golden Weeb Awards, we recognize and celebrate excellency in the recently aired anime season. We have 17 categories tonight, and for each one we nominate the best of the best from the now completed fall 2020 season. And what do they win you ask? Why? None other than a coveted, priceless, decadent, exalted Golden Weeb! <laughs> Hear that? Solid gold plastic Ooh. now you may be asking well lance how do you guys determine the nominees for each category is it by public vote or maybe by professional panel of anime authorities nope the winners are voted on by the four of us and only for anime from the fall season that all four of us have fully watched in past episodes of the podcast so there with that out of the way, how are you guys feeling about tonight's nominees and categories? Um, well, we've had we've had a fun fall season. I feel like we've had some ups, we've had some downs, mostly uh, downs, a lot of downs. Actually, you know, quite honestly, a lot way of too downs. many downs, way like, too many downs. <laughs> but that's not what we're talking about tonight. Tonight we're talking about the ups and uh, you know the downs. <laughs> if, you, if you ignore the downs we had some really good anime and I, i'm really excited um about the nominees tonight um i know no. for sure um uh, jujutsu kaisen uh we're gonna see a lot of that we're gonna see um uh basically the top four from our uh, our overall yeah. rankings uh are gonna it's gonna be a pretty loaded uh field for the four of them yeah, a lot um, of Tony Kaku, a lot of Ikibukuro, a lot of Muno no Nana. So uh, it's it's exciting to see who who we voted as the best of the best for this fall season. So well, let's get it started. Let's get it Shall started. We? All right. So we're gonna move on to our first category of the e evening: best opening. Henry Longfellow once said, "Music is the universal language of mankind." Even after the anime is done, we still find ourselves looking up these songs online and playing them over and over. And needless to say, these are openings that we never ever skip. Here are the nominations for Best Opening Song. Hoi no Ita by You Know Me featuring Akari Kito, Tonikaku Kawaii. Himito Yu Shinwa by Jun Maeda and Nagi Yanagi. Kamisama Minatahi. Kai Kai Kitan by Eve. Jujutsu Kaisen. Needle Knot by The Pinballs. Ikebukuro Westgate Park. Alright. 
and the winner of best opening penis. Okay, um... <laughs> oh, yeah, Alright, the real winner... <laughs> the winner of best opening... Jujutsu Kaisen. Right on. Yeah. They're all too okay. good. All of them they're are really good, good songs. Yeah, that's that's the upset part of Seti, but they're all too good. Yeah, for there to be winners, there must also be losers, but yeah. this was like such a tight one. Like we were having so much fun, like just listening to these songs. So much bangers this season and trying to figure so out which much form bangers. we like most. I, I think I ruined it for myself, uh, cause I made the opening and ending compilation for you guys so you guys can uh listen to all of them. And now all the songs are good to me. <laughs> like all the openings and endings are good. I don't I can't think of a really bad one from this top yeah, ten. But, uh, like when when we were deciding like what songs to um put in, of course I have favoritisms for some anime, but as I like, listened to all of them, I was like, dang, all of these are actually they're all they're pretty all good. Really good. They're all pretty good, yeah. But yeah. uh but I'm happy. Jujutsu Kaisen deserves to be on top. So I think so. I think it's very, uh, almost kind of like very defining song for this fall season. Uh, yeah. Just the mood, the energy of it. Um, it was a very fun song um, for a very fun show. And uh, with that said, we can move on to our next category. Um, I will give the microphone over to Matt. All righty. And like a fine mint after a fantastic dinner, or a cigarette after getting away with first degree homicide, nothing hits better than a good episode like a great ending. Here are the nominations for our best ending song. Mother by Macaroni and Pizzu, Dragon Quest Dai no Daiboken. Break by Uru, Yashahime, Princess Half Demon. Lost in Paradise by Ali featuring Aklo, Jujutsu Kaisen. Bakimono to Yobarete by Chiai Fujikawa, Muno Nanana. And the winner is... Lost in Paradise, Jujutsu Kaisen. Woo! Well, okay, Woo! yeah, that's good, that's good. There we go, there it is, there it is. There it is. What was, uh... It, and nah, it doesn't, I mean, the winner is Jujutsu Kaisen, but just out of curiosity, who's second place? Probably Dragon Quest, right? Who is second place? Let me grab my handy dandy notebook. <laughs> um, sorry, which one was this for? Uh, Best ending song. Ending song. Oh, you actually ending you sequence or song? song? Song. Second place was Dragon Quest. Okay. Yeah, that was Good. my number one. <laughs> and then the other two tied for third. Okay. Again, just really good endings. Um, uh, absolutely pers bangers personally of like um as much as i despised yashahime my first place was actually yashahime's ending like, wow it's a, it what is an like upset. a beautiful song they're all good like, yeah, the absolutely. ones that we nominated in here are actually really good to listen to yeah and yeah very i would and they're like, all distinct yeah they're all distinct and i would yeah. randomly think of them and i'm like and it's so good yeah absolutely even though uh, the anime was like not that good oh my god here we go <laughs> here we fucking go no 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 not today dude not today not this week uh matt how'd you how'd you feel about uh uh, this, I, uh th these four nominees i really liked all four of them and i thought the dragon quest one was the best one though hmm but yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen was probably my third, I think. 
Yeah, I, I think I also like the Dragon Quest one a lot, but I think as like Lance pointed out in the best opening, Jujutsu Kaisen's opening ending just feel iconic. And yeah, the like energy that, that they have is so the, yeah, like it feels like, so good. Yeah, it's like a very special tier of like just a song choice they pick for you, you know you wouldn't really think of like that kind of like this kind of upbeat ending to like some like really like uh like gruesome moments they have in the anime but then you end it and then you have your treats like this really like fun like just good good time feeling song uh lost yeah, in paradise absolutely it kind of makes you feel like oh these characters are like fun too it's like it's not yeah. just this like crazy All horror serious battle mm -hmm. yeah there's like a light side to it and yeah, it's nice a, but uh, don't forget that there is a like a fun energy to jujutsu kaisen too and that's what this song kind of means to me yeah but uh overall though all these songs i i mean they all deserve uh all the praise that they can get uh they all deserve to be number one in my, in my eyes and uh it was a very tough choice uh for yeah. this category to choose uh just one but uh happy how it went all right, now we're going to go over to Lance for our first commercial break. The Weeb Power Hour's Golden Weeb Awards is sponsored by... No one, because we still don't have any sponsors. If you would like to sponsor the Weeb Power Hour, please feel free to contact us. Please, please. And now back to the show. <laughs> All right, thank you for that beautiful commercial break, Lance. Uh... <laughs> we we got we gotten through uh the best openings and endings of the fall 2020 season but there's also the animations for these best opening and endings uh for for these fall season animes so next up we have best opening animation sequence even if you have never seen an anime before and don't know what's about the opening sequence can give you a good idea of what to expect a great opening is not just a treat for the ears, but for the eyes, impressing us with the anime's visual flair and leaving us wanting more. Here are the nominees for Best Opening Sequence Animation. Jujutsu Kaisen, MAPPA Ikibakuro Westgate Park, Doga Kobo Hamsama Ninata Hi, PA Works. Tony Kaku Kawaii, Seven Arts. And the winner of Best Opening Animation Sequence is. Jujutsu Kaisen! Oh! Again! Oh, again. <laughs> How but is that really best? surprising? But is it was there... the best. It, it really, really is, What was the though. second? How Was there a big difference between the first place and the second I'm place? I'm curious, here? too. Yeah. Uh, Judge? Mr. Judge? Uh, I think Mr. Judge decided to play video games instead. <laughs> Bruh, he's playing Dragon Quest, I bet. I saw. <laughs> but, um, like, is that really surprising if Jujutsu Kaisen won? No. Because, like, to pair not just, like, the best song with the best, <laughs> but with the best animation sequence, too, like... Yeah. We like, never, ever, ever skip the opening for Jujutsu Kaisen. Like they supported each other, right? Like the yeah. song was amazing, but the animation was also amazing. And yeah, put them together, and it's like how like it's hard to to not like remember it. You know, like so many good scenes. Is able to introduce all the characters, and I think that one picture at the end that's supposed to be a copy of a very famous painting. Um, yeah. that I still would never research to find out the name of that painting. Uh, it's very I think eye catching, that's like, though. Yeah, that, it's that eye catching closing shot. Yeah, and uh, definitely. I don't, I don't know if you guys noticed, but like uh, at the beginning of the show, they only had one, like one or two characters in it. Yeah, and, and as the show progressed, fills yeah. filled up all the rest, and then it matches. Like they do that. And it matches the painting uh, because it had like like twelve, fourteen people in that painting, so it was like yeah. slowly matching everything. So uh, I think Panda was like a fucking cat. 
I think he, that was a, like his mirror image. It was fucking just <laughs> laying around. So, uh, but yeah. Second place was Westgate Park. Okay, oh, that yeah. makes sense. Was there a big difference between first place and second place? Mm, four point difference. So okay, that's pretty that's good. Ca- it's pretty close. Of, yes, close, but that's pretty significant. Third place tied at four points. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I I can see why you could book row. Well, it was close. It, yeah. it was that fight scene at the it at is. the end. We we're all wanting that fight scene between King yeah, and uh, Koichi. That fight so scene was really like it was it was a cool thing to just put in the opening. Um, yeah, but I, not just that. But I feel like the again, like you can see, you can feel the show's energy like reflected in its opening, like the fast visuals, the signs, the streets, the the crowds, the people. Um, yeah. Uh, the G boys like running like excitedly to go see what I assume to be you know another street brawl with King like beating up some chomp. Uh, yeah, like you can sense like just like um, you can sense Ikebukuro. Yeah, like, you can in, feel in Ikebukuro's <laughs> life in this yeah. opening. I thought it was really good, but I mean Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, I like that the animation is very distinctive too in the opening. Like it's not. Like the way they they draw the characters isn't how the anime is. Um, no, it like feels like a lot more stylized. Too. Yeah, yeah, very stylized animation. So uh, congratulations to uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, it's dominated <laughs> opening song and now opening animation sequence. So uh, we'll move on to the next category. Um, <laughs> I'll uh, bring it over to Peter. If openings are a surface level summary of the show, the ending sequence is a deeper look representing the true soul of the anime. Through the visuals of the ending sequence, we can more strongly feel the impact of the show's story and characters. Here are the nominations for best ending sequence animation. Jujutsu Kaisen, Mappa. Tony Kaku Kawaii, Seven Arcs. Dragon Quest, Dai no Dai Boken, Toei Animation. Ikibukuro Westgate Park, Doga Kobo. Those are some pretty good ending sequences, but they're gonna be one winner. And the winner is. Oh, what a surprise! Jujutsu Kaisen! Whoa! No Whoa! Whoa! I can't believe wow. it! Get the camera! <laughs> this is unprecedented! We, who would have thought that Jujutsu Kaisen would just be flooring everyone? Flooring everyone! They're 4 4 4 right now. Is that 3 yeah. for 4? Oh, yeah. shit. But, uh, I'm, I'm 3 for 4, that. man. Uh, <laughs> Still pretty good. <laughs> But the odds of them winning a lot was pretty high since we yeah. literally have i think jujitsu kaisen has a nomination in almost every category uh in in our uh 17 categories that we have tonight so disgusting yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it's that good of a show right like it was hard to not put the nominations in for it's them too so. good too good uh, how do you feel about them matt um personally i like the style and everything for jujitsu kaisen but yeah, yeah, I'd say it's my first one. It's my first choice too. Uh, now I, I know that it seems like we're um, uh, there's like heavy favoritism for Jujutsu Kaisen, um, but you know there. Uh, I also wanted to just bring up um, that I want to bring up some honorable mentions too for a few titles that did not make it into the Cut for this Award show, and uh, those titles are Akudama Drive, Moriarty the Patriot, and Sleeping Princess in the Demon Castle. Um, Without a doubt, the opening and endings for all three could have been contenders for the last few categories, and they absolutely could have been nominated in a bunch of other categories. Unfortunately, we couldn't include them because not all four of us were able to watch them as they aired. I know Moriarty would have been a strong nomination for the upcoming Best Boy category, and Akadama Drive's Ordinary Girl, uh, she could have been in the Best Girl category, but 
alas. Um, so if you guys are wondering why those shows, we've talked about them in the podcast, uh, why they haven't been included so far. Uh, that's the reason. So I did want to just bring up honorable mentions um, uh, that those shows are very strong shows as well. They just were not included in this award show. Yep. But we love them. We love we them all just to the say. So, uh, but hopefully next time we'll be able to uh, include uh, all the best animes and give you guys pretty much the best of the best. But uh, we'll move on to uh, best protagonist. The story is theirs. From the moment they take up the Master Sword and leave Kakariko Village, we are with them. We experience this world through their eyes, and through their deeds, we see the world change. Protagonists are not always heroes. They are not always perfect, but with the great protagonists at the helm of a ship, we can't help but want to see their maiden voyage to the end, and even beyond. Here are the nominations for Best Protagonist. Hiragi Nana Muno na Nana Itadori Yuji, Jujutsu Kaisen. Majimo Makoto, Ikebukuro Westgate Park. Dai, Dragon Quest. Dai no Dai Boken. And the winner of Best Protagonist, Itadori Yuji, Jujutsu Kaisen! Oh yeah! Hell Dude, they yeah. won't stop winning. <laughs> just just give them the all the awards dead. already. Just give them all the awards. <laughs> I want to know that there, there was actually a tie for Best Protagonist. It was a tie between Itadori Yuji and uh, Mako- Makoto, um, ah. but um, Itadori won because he got more first places uh, in this tie. Damn, Makoto, you almost had it, dude. You almost broke the chain that Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> had, but oh, so close. But I mean, how can you hate, man? Like Itadori, Itadori yeah. is probably going to win best boy too at this point. Dude, like, see, this is the moment where I start feeling, man. Jujutsu Kaisen fucking should go down fifth place. You know, it's getting a little cocky. You <laughs> Why? Know? Don't try to justify yourself. <laughs> Why? It's a little too cocky. The way you do acting so far. <laughs> Did you not say Jujutsu Kaisen is good when Itadori is on the fucking episode? Did you no, not say it's that? Good. It, it's, it's you good, said but... that. Uh, 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 you're trying to get back on your words. I don't think no, so, buddy. I, I, just, I remember. I just want the underdogs to win more, you know? <laughs> yeah, well. Too bad, dude. This is America. <laughs> we don't believe in the underdog story. Look, we're trying to reward the best of the best here. And I mean, what can I say? If you're like the very best, then yeah, you're going to keep winning. And uh, like, yeah. I, I want to say they that I did. <laughs> I did vote truthful. I didn't. I wasn't like, oh, man, Jude's got some shit or I'm not going to vote. Not. You know, <laughs> I, I voted truthfully. But okay. now the hearing everyone is just has voted for Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm just like it's too it's too strong oh my <laughs> fucking god it's not it too to get- strong it's exactly strong enough other people should step up with their protagonists to meet yeah okay well to, like, to yeah. compete with i mean majima uh M- makoto is he very He's narrowly great. won but uh yeah i mean that just goes to show like like makoto is awesome too so. yeah but like yuji i think he got that slight edge just because like one is fight scenes are amazing and i think too I, I don't know about you guys but that episode when he was with junpei's mother and he was like doing like movie like charades yeah like that that process that 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 scene like never leaves my head because it's like this is this is like a very wholesome character like i'll never forget that about him so yeah. no matter how much he kills uh in the next like couple of seasons you always remember yuji is a good guy at the end so. Yeah, he's a very yeah. not just to see like you know a cool character, but I mean I think what makes him so cool too is that you keep in mind that he's a very human guy. Yeah, like his like his motivations and the way he behaves with people is like just so authentically human that uh, it's hard. It's really really hard not to love him. Exactly, too good. 
So I'll skew my lame. numbers next time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't skew your numbers. Try to be, be I honest. Haven't the That's numbers. what these I'm award honest. shows are about. I'm honest, dude. I'm honest, dude. I'm, I'm being honest. <laughs> this is not the it's Grammys, just... Kai. <laughs> uh, shit don't worry by, by next week when we get back to the power rankings Kai's gonna go right back to fifth place with uh, probably all like right. Dr. Stone or something dude no 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 no. maybe maybe Jujutsu Kaisen the, all the other anime will be so good Jujutsu Kaisen will bow down to its rightful place at fifth what are you off. talking about Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> isn't even in the power rankings oh shit you're right fuck <laughs> <laughs> uh, did I foil your master plan? Yeah, I'm not I mean, like that's, this. Hey, that's not true because um, I mean they can be part of the uh, they cannot be, be part, part of, of the award show, rankings, but they can eventually be part of the award show. So they will be part of the award show. So I hope that we'll, um, well, you know, have like, anime the that will like rival Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, there we go. The there we go. Season. There we'll go. see, but uh, we'll move Slap on. Them in its place. All right, Kai, you're up next. Antagonist. All right. Humans are made, not born. If this statement is true, there is no better maker of a great hero than an equally great antagonist. Conflicting in their interests, methods, and philosophies, a great antagonist challenges the hero and pushes them to be better than they ever could have dreamed. Here are the nominations for best antagonist. Michael Jujutsu Kaisen. Dragon Quest Dino Daibogen Furusu and Iwakakiru Sports Climbing Girl Women Stuna Jujutsu Kaisen Yomen Skunab Perfect 20 points. We all Hell voted yeah. for him. God damn it, it's Jujutsu Kaisen again! No! <laughs> it's, uh, I'm sorry, but could but there yeah. be anybody else? Right, right, wins? right. Look at that list. I, I, again, I, I wish it was I wish there was more competition for Jujutsu Kaisen, but like how do you not like him? How, how He's too beat, good. How do you beat him? He's too He's good. Way too charismatic. Yeah. yeah. The also, way he it's just tough sits too. on his throne, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's sexy. It's hot. Yeah. It's yeah. It's and it's, it's easy to his body, but somehow when Sukuna like just takes over, it's an absolutely like an different person. He looks entirely different. Yep. So. Like his his aura is like malice is just so clear in how they animate him like he's so cool i do have to say though uh him winning by landslide i'm not surprised there weren't that many antagonists uh this season we didn't really watch a lot of shows that have a central antagonist so uh for him to win in a landslide that's that's no surprise to me but yeah so for this one everyone voted the same in addition so everyone voted Ryomen for first place. Yokno, everyone voted for second place. Mahito, everyone voted for third. And then Kurusu got literally zero points, so. <laughs> she doesn't even re- she doesn't deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> as much as like she's, you know, uh, I feel like she's a good antagonist for the show. But if you take her out of the show in like the grander con- uh, context of like other antagonists this season, uh, I mean, the caliber is different. She's doggy yeah. doo-doo. Here we go. There it is. <laughs> so, I'm not that surprised that we all felt this like similar ways. Yep. Whammin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, all right. But, I do want to say I really like Uncle too. Like, um, like I really like him as like a villain. Uh, just like I'm a sucker for. Uh, I've said it before. I'm a sucker for villains that are like the evil version of the protagonist. All right, we're going to swing it over to Lance for our next commercial break. The Fall 2020 Golden Weave Awards will return after the break. Welcome back to the Golden Weave Awards. 
Is there an anime you would have nominated for a category? Leave us a comment about how disappointed you are. Trust us, we are disappointed too. And now, presenting our next category, Matt. Alrighty then. Whether it be a flurry of punches or a bursting Kamehameha, these are fights that we can't miss a beat on. Fights that we could watch twice, thrice, or as many times as needed to catch every duck, pivot, swerve, and impact as they unfold. Here are the nominations for best fight scene. Gojo vs. Jogo, Jujutsu Kaisen, Episode 7. Itadori vs. Mahito, Jujutsu Kaisen, Episode 12. Dai and Avan vs. Hadler, Dragon Quest Dai no Daibokin, Episode 5. Uncle Reaper vs. Shinra, Fire Force, Episode 14. Best fight scene goes to... Gojo vs. Jogo. Are you kidding me? Oh really? yeah, that was that was the most lit fight ever, dude. <laughs> I mean, it was good. But Dimension like... expansion, like they they explained the power system that episode, and we saw his eye, his eyes, his beautiful. White eyes. And like Gojo oh. just completely stole the the show for Damn, that. Damn, like, dude, this is this is just like uh, it's not like a weeb board show. It's like let's suck Jujutsu Kaisen balls show. I mean, it it got first place on our our, our <laughs> ranking board, and I think it won by a landslide too. So like, and like, what what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Do something a little cheer up, Kai. Second place was also Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> <laughs> that battle was good too. <laughs> it was. Uh, I know. I probably voted for that too. All right. <laughs> like, uh, fun. I wish. I wish I could have picked another fight, but I mean, how could you? How could you pick anything else but that? Like, <laughs> the action was good. You got to learn about Gojo. I feel like um, he just entirely like put himself on display, his personality, his fighting style. Um, just how powerful domains are. It was such a good fight. The animation yeah, was so I, good. It reminded me of like Deku versus Todoroki. Yeah. Ooh, like the that's budget was just one. like they were just throwing the budget at that Insane. fight. Insane. Also, it shows, hey. This is this is the standard, baby. You know, like he's looking at Itadori. He's like, you you want to you want to fucking beat Sukuna in his own game? You gotta be at least this level right here. So oh yeah, that, uh, that was a nice touch too. Like during the fight, he actually teleported like Itadori in, into the area, and he just said, "Hey, watch this. Like this is how strong I want you to become." Exactly. So I'm excited for the second half of the season uh, to see how far Itadori can go next. So, uh, but yeah. All right, thank you, Matt, uh, for the best fight scene announcement. Next up, we have best shithead. Dictionary.com defines shithead as a stupid, inept, unlikable, or contemptible person. If these characters were real, maybe they would drive us absolutely insane to be around. But despite that, no matter how ridiculous they get, we cannot help but adore them every time they open their dumb, stupid mouths. Here are the nominations for best shithead. Arisugawa Aya, Tonikaku Kawaii. Sato Hina, Kamisama Ninata Hi. Saya, Majo no Tabi Tabi. Arthur Boyle, Fire Force. All right, time to open up this envelope. Best shithead. And the winner is... 
Come Zone R C U Gawa I Tony Kaku Koi. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> the, <laughs> the b- Come Zone with C O N. Thank you, uh, Mr. Judge, for writing that down for me. <laughs> there you go, guys. Tony Tony Kaku finally wins something. Yep. That's not that's not saying a lot because Jujutsu Kaisen wasn't even nominated in this category. <laughs> yeah, there was no <laughs> chance. <chin-ended. laughs> Everyone was good in Jujutsu Kaisen, so but it's not like shitheads are the worst characters. They're they're just they're like the lovable idiots that you can you can in never a way, forget. I feel like they're kind of the best character of the show honestly yeah 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 definitely. they really they really help with like comedy relief or or breaking up tension or just like breaking up a formula that the an anime can go through and uh best shithead uh usually uh helps out with that so under best shithead um this was probably one of the biggest descriptions Discre- descriptions yeah Discrepancies. oil was eight points so a whole 10 point difference between first and second Damn. And then seven points Sato, three points Saya. Mm-hmm. Every time I look at uh, Aya, she she screams to me the quintessential shithead oh, yeah, of, uh, of the group. So yeah. um, she's not like aqua level, like Konosuba aqua level, but just uh, uh, she 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 was she was slowly climbing up that mountain, uh, the the aqua mountain of shithead. Because to me, aqua is like probably the the top of the mountain. In terms of uh, the shitheads uh, in the anime community, like when she was first introduced, I was like, okay, she just kind of like scatterbrained and not all there. She's very slow on the uptake. But then, like every time she just kept showing up, mm-hmm. like, she just got more and more like just like silly. What is wrong with this girl? Like, she's yeah, so, she's a natural. <laughs> she's like, yeah, she's just like shithead incarnate. But uh. I mean, I, I love both sisters, uh, both of the Arisuga sisters. Um, Tony Kaku's just full of, like... Honestly, I think everyone has a little shithead in them. In <laughs> Tony Kaku Kawaii. And, uh... But I is just, like, like the cream of the... The cream. <laughs> the cream basically. of the shit, yeah. The cream of the shit, dude. <laughs> yep. Were you gonna say something, Matt? No, I just said she's a natural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a natural dumbass. <laughs> All right, so that was the best shithead award. I will pass it over to Kai for best animation. Lightings, shadows, tones, fluidity. From hairs flowing in the gentle wind to the golden midday sun kissing a cheek. In real life, we take such spectacles for granted. But for an animator, it is the labor of love and true art form that can make even the impossible possible. Here are the nominations for best animation. Jujutsu Kaisen, MAPPA. Ikibukuro Westgate Park, Doga Kobo. Kamisama ni natta hi, PA Works. Majo no Tabi Tabi, C2C. Best animation goes to. Kami sama ni natta hi. Sorry, I laughed because like there was some our judge keeps putting random words like penis. <laughs> you should have read you know, it. And I'm just like, you know, what's going on? But yeah, I'm so happy that uh Kami it's not what? Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah. You're happy that Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> you should be happy. Kami Sama works so hard winner. to win the, the category. Um, but yeah, I mean, Kami Sama, like, 
in, in all ways, shapes, or form, I know like most of us were like kind of disappointed with how it ended. It had ups um, and downs for sure. It had like yeah, it was a very like kind of not that great of a roller coaster ride in uh, that sense. But PA Works outdone themselves again uh yeah. with the animation they always seem to know how to do uh these these like little like slice of life dramas uh to a t uh, and everything from the opening to the episode itself to even to the ending uh beautiful absolutely beautiful yeah they have a particular eye for just uh just knowing like not just like just not just like for fight scenes like fight scenes of course you know you want to put a lot of time and effort into like choreographing that but just like how characters behave you can uh, the way they animate some characters you can see uh their personality uh in like really subtle ways and how they they take the time out to flesh out uh the environments the the people they they put a lot of effort in that so i, I really love pa works uh, for their their attention to animation yeah um like the action scenes like it doesn't have to be fighting but just like all oh, the no. yeah it crazy movement like the, the uh, mahjong <laughs> like the dynamic yeah, exactly of, like, putting down just the, the mahjong piece. bam and slide you know the special or just, effects of like it, he like just poses and oh man i lined up like four of a kind jack <laughs> bingo <laughs> I, got, I sunk yeah. your battleship like <laughs> yeah it was so crazy and even like at the end too right like the the special effects within the show itself Itself when they were making the movie i was like this is like this is like an exception right now that you're like doing this within an animation and how yeah. beautiful it can look <laughs> they animated sora animating yeah like special effects in i was like <laughs> oh man and all the characters um they're all uh beautifully designed and they just all look great like it's such an amazing piece of work for an original uh in terms of uh the artwork so, definitely like uh, the background art like when you compare like all the other animations that we watched and like coming to money not the heat like a lot of the background like the mountains in the back or the scenery the trees are yeah. just mm-hmm. really well drawn yeah like, they it's really pretty yeah even the opening in the opening animation you see like a bunch of these trees and green you know stuff and it just looks good mm-hmm. yeah the attention to I detail agree. is yeah it, it's hard not to like acknowledge just how much effort they put in okay thank you kai for best animation uh next up we have best supporting character just because a character doesn't have the spotlight of the show doesn't mean they can't steal it every time they appear because supporting characters only have a fraction of a screen time of a hero they must shine brightly to lead their impact and these supporting characters shine brighter than all others Here are the nominations for Best Supporting Character. Arasugawa Kaname, Tonikaku Kawaii. Nanami Kento, Jujutsu Kaisen. Makoto's mother, Ikibukuro Westgate Park. Shimon Benimaru, Fire Force. There was a lot of good supporting characters, but only one can win. The winner is... Arisugawa Kaname, Tonikaku Kawaii. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? These sisters, man, <laughs> they're like they clean up. They're the best part. I mean, I love Tsukasa. I love Nasa. Of course, the that's the point of the show is the romance. But God, they're they're both so funny. The sisters oh. are just hilarious. Honestly, if Kaname wasn't in the show, like, dude, Nasa, honestly, mm. not he, he's like shitter, dude. <laughs> Like yeah. because Konami's right there, I can be like, that. hey, you know, I think as a girl, you know, it might be cool if you got her a ring, or you know, maybe no, yeah. it'd be nice if you did this. And you know, Nasa's like, that's a great idea. But like, if it wasn't for her, 
And I was just like, yeah, you know, I'm totally fine with, you know, not having I'm a okay. TV. <laughs> I'm okay not having a bathroom in my, or a shower in my apartment. Yeah. Like, no, you, you totally, uh, you totally got it. Like 90% of the progress of anything happening in Toinkaku Kawaii <laughs> is because Kaname is literally like shoving Nasa to do anything. Yeah. Carrying but, uh, them on the back. Yeah, she's, MVP, she's pretty much right carrying here. the load right there. But uh, I think that's something that me and Lance always says, always say when we watch rom-coms. Look, look for that character. Look for that character, uh, that supporting character that really pushes the main character. If they don't have it, it's probably not a good rom-com because yeah. the, the main character can't do it by himself. And most times than not, uh, they write the main character very oblivious to a lot of things. So mm -hmm. uh, I know a lot of people like scream, like, please just do something. But once you get that supporting character and it feels more natural and uh, kind of made just really like brings life to the show and really helps push the, the comedy part uh, a lot as well uh, in the show. Yeah. Fantastic. Like of like the, I, I don't know what to call her. Like, I guess like almost like the workhorse supporting character the character that um like drives progress like she's one of the best i've seen in like the rom-com genre and if uh if we get a season two hopefully uh i mean we're gonna see a lot more of her because now we're in the bathhouse uh i for i assume the whole season um so <laughs> i mean at the like... end of the season uh near on the second half of the season when they moved into the bathhouse yeah i was like cheering i was like Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> Kaname. She's so cool. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, let's hope Tonikaku uh, gets a second season. We'll definitely be looking out for that OVA. Uh, but uh, we'll swing it to Lance uh, for another commercial break. It's about time for Kai to squeeze the lemon. The Fall 2020 Golden Weeb Awards will return. Welcome back to the Golden Weeb Awards. Are you sick of all the Jujutsu Kaisen nominations yet? Too bad, it will probably get worse. Speaking of worse, presenting our next category, Kai, if you may. They say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, but there's nothing fucking beautiful about these fucking characters. If there's anything to love about these characters is that we collectively love to fucking hate them. We groan when they are given screen time and cringe every time they open their mouth. With great displeasure, I present the nominees for worst character. Kurusu Anne, Iwakageru Sports Climbing Girls. Lost Missions, our last crusade for the rise of a new world. Otatsu Tamaki, Fire Force. Uchimura Akane, Iwakakeru Sports Climbing Girl. Alright. The winner for being the most shittiest character is. Miss Miss. Yeah, from a shitty anime, you got the shitty character, you know? But wait, I don't agree with this. Kurukurusu was the most shittiest character. What are we talking about? Who voted no, for this? No, Miss Miss is the worst character ever. What? Are you fucking no, kidding fuck me? No. <laughs> Kurukurusu, bitch, dude. It's like how it Look. was terrible. Every Look, time. she was only uh, she was only available for the last couple episodes of that season. Miss Miss was an eyesore from the beginning to the end. She was an abomination end. that did not go away from the start to the finish. Like at least Kurusu, I feel like yeah, she had she had like a big absence, so she only like a like was offensive in like the last the first and like last few episodes. And also, at least she was like effective. She was actually a strong opponent. Like Miss Miss, what did she do? She just caused more problems for them. Exactly. It's for worst character. Worst yeah. character. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was a it was a landslide. So yeah. sorry, I was a little scared that I uh, did it wrong, but no, it's right. It's absolutely right. Points. Eighteen points. Yep. 
And then <laughs> the second really place is right? between Kurusu and Ichimura for oh, seven. That, that makes Ko- sense. Kotatsu is three. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, this I mean, is, like, oh my god, I look. thought I did the tally wrong, but no. Who did like, you pick for first? Don't lie. Of course, that was a uh, uh, Kurusu then. Yeah, that was me, Kurusu. That's why. Be. She, that's Just why because he was a, tired of her singing, but yeah. Miss Miss, like, she's a captain. Of a of that patal that little like group that she has, you tell me what she's done as a captain, dude. I don't even know what's going on in that anime, dude. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's why she's so bad. You can't tell me to, to put someone that's the worst character if I don't even know that they're being a shitty character. That's that that's anime exactly. Is so sad that they are the worst character. Then. <laughs> If you don't know what's going on, then they're not doing their job as a character dude, dude, to get you hooked. Camouflaged into the shitty show as just shitty. Exactly. That's how it goes. So there you go. You saw Isuka, man. He fell into that same portal and he didn't got a crest afterwards. But Miss Miss, that bitch. Oh yeah, no, man. What, she made that crest is, so bad. That? To make her they gave her Yeah, they gave her an important thing to have. And she used it once. It was to fool mages when she was sneaking into that tower and those mages had guns so they weren't even shooting her with magic so she can block with magic they shot her with the gun <laughs> no and she stood there she didn't even need her thing she just happened to have it they gave them fake tattoos whether she had one or not so even more so it wasn't useful just like her character so but I'm I sorry, I this was an award show. We're supposed to be praising characters. No, this is, this is the oh, one. That's, my, that's me praising. The one yeah. we can talk shit about. We're praising them by talking shit about them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And next oh, yeah. next, next award show, we're going to put worst anime of, of, uh, category in there yeah, so we, we can fucking blast them. We can them. just blast them, dude. Blast them. But uh, yeah, all right. We'll move on. Uh... We'll move on to uh, Matt for best character design. Alrighty then. You can't always judge a book by its cover, but when the cover looks this good, maybe you can make an exception. A great design is much more than just the clothes the character wears. It is how they bear themselves, the silhouette they cut, and the aura their appearance exudes. Here are the nominations for best character design. Nameless, Our Last Crusade, or The Rise of a New World. Yonko, Dragon Quest, Dai no Daiboken. Ryomen Tsugana, Jujutsu Kaisen. Ozaki Kyoichi, Ikebukuro Westgate Park. Alright, and the winner is. Jiz Ryomen Tsukuna, Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh my yeah, yeah, he is Whoa. number one. Number one, <laughs> Jizz. What up, right. Kai? What up, Kai? Oh, Pen man, drop, there. baby. Let's go. Oh my god. Well, yeah, see, he, it's just too good. Wait, who came in second, I, though? Who came in second, though? Yeah, well, you don't Mr. care about the first place because we Mr. know it's Judge. Jiz Kaisen. What's second place? <laughs> it's gotta be uh, Koichi. This is the character design? Uh, yeah, yes. Correct? Yep. Yes. Honestly, Second place was Dragon Quest. Oh, oh yeah. Go. There's probably yeah. a dance that skewed that oh. vote. <laughs> Third last crusade at six, and then Westgate Park fourth for four points. Damn. Damn. That's Koichi tough. getting shot on. Koichi. Yep. I mean, he's got that cool back tattoo. I yeah. mean, it's not that, you know, he's the worst. It's that, I mean, he's also really good. It's just that there are other people who are, you know, I feel like more striking than his design. His design, like, uh, like hands down, in the Ikebukuro Westgate Park anime, Kyoichi has like the best design. Like, he has like an entire story that is told on, like, his from his back tattoos to uh, even like the clothes he wears and 
uh, his cute red hair yeah. and the way he always, he's always like smiling <laughs> like just yep. very calmly uh, i feel like that's a really big part of his design too but um i mean again sukuno we've already talked about this like itadori is cool but then he flips the switch when sukuna takes over and he he's just an entirely different like creature yeah the fact that he looks like itadori but like you can tell like just like little subtleties in like the design just like it gives this like completely different aura about what we're looking at and yeah. like his mannerism and the way he like his swag his looks you know like we said it yeah, before the way he sits on his throne yeah like he's sitting here with his robes and he's just like mm -hmm. yeah just waiting until season three when i become relevant i'm just gonna fucking rape all you motherfuckers like i like i'm so excited to see like when he comes in it's pretty much like like naruto with the with the qb in him you're just kind of like waiting for that moment to where like they confront each other and then like see like what happens next like i know we're probably not going to get it for a while but uh i'm excited to see uh see that uh come okay. about okay i know this isn't what we were supposed to be talking about right now but i i want to check you guys too um uh for sukuna and itadori's relationship now that you mentioned it do you think there will ever be a time when sukuna and itadori get along and they'll be on the no. same t side because eventually in naruto you know yeah nine QB. tails and naruto they eventually become like uh friends and they work together i don't want it i don't want I don't, it either i, don't, I personally don't, don't want it either yeah because he can just say one word uh, sukuna and then he can take over his body he does not need any consent from uh, yeah itadori yeah uh, power imbalance is what makes it interesting i guess it's just like this this like over like evil that like itadori like can't defeat like that's going to be like his 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 reasoning his goal his 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 uh his push to you know towards the end of the sh of the story it's like oh no matter like how many people i beat no matter how many like fingers i uh eat or save people or anything like that sukuna will always be the end goal and to to change that kind of feels like uh i, I feel like i would get cheated from like a final yeah. epic battle between him and Sukuna. Cause I assume Sukuna was somehow some way, once you get more fingers in him, he'll be able to like, kind of like, I don't know, osmosis and just like kind of separate from Itadori and be able to like <laughs> that's create his own I, body. That's what I'm kind of predicting too. I don't know how far the, the manga has gone. If we have, if they have an answer for that, we don't know because none of us read uh, the no. manga, but I, I actually did have that theory too, Peter. Like, um, yeah, like somewhere down the line, maybe, I don't know, maybe like ten, 10 fingers, fingers in or something. Yeah. That seems like a good point. Like Sukuna actually Halfway. finds a way to leave Itadori and become yeah. his own character, which I would prefer because also the relationship is just different from Nine Tails and Naruto. Because Nine Tails, um, he doesn't relinquish control to Nine Tails. He takes his power for himself, and Naruto remains in control. Like Sukuna actually takes over in yeah. a very like invasive way, and um, the personality just like you know qb never like really develop until like way way later you know like sukuna was like 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 literally day one like we got here and then like we already were like treated to like this crazy overpowered yeah. curse you know so i want i want to keep that feeling like no matter how good we are there's that lingering feeling that he's above me uh yeah. and he's waiting to strike uh this feel, that's this what like makes him good temptation of evil that um itadori has his inner demon that can do anything, but each story, and he could really use the help, but each story has to remember, like, like this is a deal with the devil, so you don't want his help. Okay, whew. yeah, we ran out of a fucking okay. tangent there, but... <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah. Anyways. So not, he looks cool, dude. <laughs> like, he's, a, yeah. he's a bastard, but he's, he's a really cool-looking bastard. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we'll move on uh, to the next categories. Uh, first up, best girl. Best girls come in all shapes and sizes, moiness, and thickness. Reddit has their opinion. I'm sure you have your opinion too. You can say there are as many best girls out there as there are stars in the night sky. But without a doubt, if not for these girls shining over them, their respective shows would have been a whole lot dimmer. Here are the nominations for best girl. Moroha, Yashihime, Princess Half Demon. Elena, 
Bajo no Tabi Tabi. Sato Hina, Kamisama ni Natahi. Yuzaki Sukasa, Tonikaku Kawaii. And best girl goes to Yuzaki Sukasa, Tonikaku Kuai. I mean, was there ever in doubt? Ever in doubt? I know we uh we don't like to discount the nominations, but honestly, it wasn't a competition. Uh, I felt like we scrapped Tsukasa's up those nominations too, just yeah. for her to knock them down. So Tsukasa is way too good. She's pretty much untouchable in this category, I feel like. But is that what the votes say? Mr. Judge? Absolutely. 20 <laughs> points. <laughs> hey. Second place, hey. seven. There you go. Third place, tied at four. Like, she she she's the perfect waifu right like yeah. she can cook she's understanding she's supportive she's a huge weeb right like she's basically yeah, she's what like every like every like weeb's wet dream right there she's she's cute and she has all these weeb attributes and like and she like helps support you and she's understanding and she's fucking like a thousand years old so like she has experience <laughs> wow spoiler <laughs> Is I that don't spoilers? know. Spoilers. <laughs> they pretty Is much. It? Okay, if they paint the house red and no one tells you it's red, but then you're like, you know, that house is red. Is that a spoiler? Because it's obvious. <laughs> oh no, not a, not a dance analogy here. Um, but uh, but I mean, not only that, but I feel like Sukasa is not a trope. Um, I feel like she kind of defies what we would expect from like a rom com love interest, like. Usually there's like a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of density with like these kind of characters to drive the narrative. Like these characters have to be dumb. Sukasa is very intelligent. Yeah, um, they cut the out all the fat. Doesn't rely on her being dumb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh this is like a very like genuine aspect of her that uh is it's hard not to love. And I'm I'm really glad that the uh the anime really like brought that even further like for, for someone that read the manga i was like man sukasa is so awesome but seeing everything now seeing her just like come to life kind of thing really sells it home like mm -hmm. this is very good genuine feel about her there's there's nothing fake about it and you know like nat said um it's not not the general trope that we see in many uh female leads in rom-coms they cut out yeah. a lot of the fat to just have a pure like diamond uh in front of you and now that you mentioned it, Peter, um, so there's all, we talk about this a lot, um, between the adaptations between like a manga and the feeling they have when they get made into an anime. Which one do you yeah. prefer for, um, Tsukasa's representation? How she is in the manga or do you think the anime is better or does her better? Mm, I think it would be hard for me to say because the anime isn't so far into the story yet. Oh. I know you guys got like a lot of like, uh storylines come in you know the house burned down and all that jazz but uh mm -hmm. from where i'm at there's a lot more sukasa uh content uh that you guys have not seen yet um like when she was like geeking over like street fighter like that man like that's like that's just like scratching the surface of like what i wanted you guys to see about her there's so much uh nuances about her and that really? it just feels good yeah so uh as of right now it's probably good to be the manga um but i am very happy with the voice actor actress for uh, uh sukasa uh she's very good and uh yeah. yeah give it a couple more seasons if it does get a couple more seasons and then uh come back to me on that and i'll give you i'll give you a real answer all right uh okay uh after that uh, winning landslide of Sukasa. We're moving on to Best Boy. Judge them by their deeds, though they may be few, rather than their words, though they may be many. For many people, a best boy makes or breaks the show for them. A best boy is magnetic in that every breath they take and every move they make, we cannot help but love watching them. 
Here are the nominations for Best Boy. Gojo Satoru, Jujutsu Kaisen. Majima Makoto, Ikebukuro Westgate Park. Yuzaki Nasa, Tonikaku Kawaii. Itadori Yuji, Jujutsu Kaisen. Whoa, it's uh, Majima Makoto. Whoa! Hell yeah. Makoto slayed both the Jujutsu boys? Holy shit. That was like, Dude, the you're upset like of a getting. Century right here. <laughs> absolute. Yeah, absolute double team. Like, is there like episode 13 of Jujutsu Kaisen when like Mahito was just getting the shit beat out of him? Like, <laughs> that's what I was assuming when you got both best boys like that next to you. But hey, you know what? I'm happy with it. I, yeah. I can accept that. Yeah. I mean, I think there's like a certain distinction we have to make between um, uh, best boy and protagonist because we saw both um, uh, Itadori and Makoto in protagonist category. Yeah, um, I feel like protagonist is like who do you want to see like lead the show? But I think best boy is like or which one in particular like I feel like resonates with you and like like touches your heart mm. more. And I for sure think that Makoto, uh, as much as I love Yuji, um, like Makoto is just he's an angel. Like I think as much as like a hero and just a normal human, especially yeah. Um, I think Makoto is very special yeah like just like you said like just the way we can connect with him just because it's it feels attainable right like usually like he's a fucking beast he can get lap people he can punch through walls uh yeah. he can take like fucking like a thousand needles through his body and still not bleed out for whatever reason but mm -hmm. uh makoto just like you know he kind of just shows you it's like hey you know like you help people out uh like and, and like with little things every day like that's technically being a hero in yeah. in, a, in a sense and uh it feels very genuine and the fact that this whole city like knows him and loves him uh at the same time it's just like it's not about just like helping people out but the way he helps them uh really like shines with the have their relationships with him because like that last episode where he had like everyone he's helped in the past season come back just to like help help him in some way shape or form to like fix uh you know the problem that he had with the the gang wars it was like it's beautiful like it would have never happened if makoto isn't who he is so oh, yeah an ass guy let's go i know you were looking at me when i said friends and you were like i got i want to i want to say onion ass guy just onion let me fucking ass get <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh but yeah uh okay so uh that wraps it up for best girl and best boy uh we'll push it off to lance uh for his final commercial break like my father off to buy a pack of cigarettes the golden weave awards will be right back or not Welcome back to the Golden Weave Awards. To the owner of the Silver Toyota Tacoma, your lights are on and you are double parked. You're the only one that drives a truck, man. So that's literally <laughs> just calling you something. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, thank you, Lance, uh, for that final uh, commercial break. Uh, we'll just uh, go straight to the next category. It's the Whoa, I Didn't See That Coming category. Uh, Lance, take it away. Seasoned anime fans are only getting more savvy of the old tropes and formulas, and it's getting harder and harder for studios to keep us on our toes. That said, this season still brought us a fair share of surprises. Here are the nominees for best- Whoa, I didn't see that coming moment! Junpei Transformed, Jujutsu Kaisen, Episode 12. Estelle killing Selena. 
Majo no Tabi Tabi, Episode 9. Mitsuki Shooting King, Ikebukuro Westgate Park, Episode 11. Nana Killing Nana O, Muno Na Nana, Episode 1. I am expecting a very surprising result for this surprising category. And the winner is... Lick my balls. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. And the winner is... Nana Killing Nana O. Episode 1, Muno Na Nana. Yes! Oh, it's not Hell yeah. Tyson again. Let's go. But let's, let's be but honest honestly, here. Like, that was really good. It was really surprising. Yep. Yeah. Like, like, it changed the whole tone of the show. Yeah. On the first episode, remember, yeah. like, we were like, oh, this is like My Hero Academia. This yeah, is just like maybe like a grittier version. Superhero school. Shenanigans. Exactly. I so, like, how we were just. The episode was too. It was boring. Yeah. We, yeah it, was it was boring was super, as fuck. <laughs> nothing Standard. happening and then we're like okay when's something gonna happen okay i didn't mean it like that don't don't kill the protagonist yeah like, <laughs> like that was it really surprising. set us up because i remember like when we were first like watching the trailer and stuff like that like lance i think you pointed it out you were like oh there's like blood splatters on the trailer and then like you look like, at the manga yeah, cover and it's like blood splatters it's like oh maybe it's like a little grittier uh my hero so we're like yeah, oh this is exciting people get hurt a lot or something no yes um, some people die everyone's fucking dying and <laughs> yeah but um, uh yeah that whole beginning was just like oh this is standard procedure you know like nana coming in as a transfer student and then boom it's all over baby this is what the show is all about and I mean, we've seen like, you know, like Shocker first episodes. We've seen like Goblin Slayer. We've seen, uh, I feel like Attack on Time's a good, um, comparative, uh, where Aaron gets eaten very early mm -hmm. on. But I mean, Aaron comes back, like Nana O is dead. And yeah, not, and that's like a secret that not just, um, like the first episode was trying to like surprise you with. The entire promotional project of this anime was trying to surprise <laughs> you. They put Nana O front and yeah. center yep. in every single promo poster every single yep. ad on Key twitter visual. yep uh, i think like on the official site like he's the first person listed as like the characters that you're introduced to as nano and they talk about yep. his, his backstory yeah and I, he's the manga he's yeah <laughs> everything uh but yeah i i that was like the one like a lot of these were good but i think that was the one that like just i think that was the one that blindsided us the most like none yeah, of definitely. us saw that coming the other ones were like kind of inkling or were like oh okay this is the nature of the show yeah, so like, like kind of expected this happen. i yeah. really didn't see not all being killed yeah exactly so uh but pretty good uh pretty happy about that okay second place was uh two point difference by the way junpei was second place at 14 points okay nana yeah. 16. i can believe that, that makes too. sense that had like a similar feel too, because we were all very surprised that Junpei would be killed. Yeah. Like, yeah, we were literally calling him the next Sasuke. Yeah. Like every every time he comes up, he was like, oh, it's Sasuke. Oh, it's Sasuke. It's yeah. going to be Sasuke. So we were expecting like a bigger role from him, but for him to uh, just disappear like that, uh, like, it's, it's tough to swallow. Another comparison, another comparison, I guess, from, um, okay, like for Naruto, for example. Um, like one of the first arcs you see sasuke and naruto fight haku and um it it looks like sasuke is killed in the fight and mm. that's like a really big moment like i was expecting something similar to happen to junpei but again like kind of like uh, subverting your expectation like they really killed off junpei after building him up putting him in the opening um creating like just an entire like laying in front of him like an entire you can see it like an entire journey of character development he could go on yeah and then they just like, cut, it short. cut it short like that yeah and that one scene i never forget it well it's probably because i'm editing these episodes but <laughs> uh there's like this one scene where like itadori is like seeing 
yeah. uh, Junpei getting transformed. And then there was like this little scene where like him, uh, Megumi, uh, Nobra, yeah. uh, Junpei and himself just walking together. Like they're going to be classmates. They're going to be, uh, teammates, uh, on yeah. the, the Jujutsu tech school. And I was like, yeah. oh, that like, that oh. gave me like a, like some chicken skin, like, like just how much that hurt. Mm. Like, yeah like itadori was that so was what he was looking to forward to yeah um and to for, for that to be ripped away for both of them uh after everything that's happened uh with with his mother with junpei's mother and everything mm. else it's like it was tough but uh yeah yeah but muno nana muno nana uh it's fucking it's amazing so yeah okay uh moving on uh to kai for best episode Film anime have that single episode that makes the whole season. That pivotal moment that defines the entire series and cements the highest standard for the show. Here are the nominees for best episode. Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 12. Ikibukuro Westgate Park, episode 12. Tonikaku Kawaii, episode 8. Muno Nanana, episode 13. For the best episode, Jujutsu Six Inch Flaccid Kaisen Episode Twelve. <laughs> six feet. Six, no, six feet inches, social distance. Six, inch, uh, six uh, inches flaccid Kaisen episode okay. twelve. <laughs> six feet when it's when it's hard. Okay, got it. Social distance. Woo! Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I love I our mean, judges. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean like I, I I know I this I mean this is gonna be literally just the Jujutsu Kaisen award show, but yeah, it like is. It was that good. I, like, I think the only thing that probably would have overtaken it maybe was Muno no na, Muna Nanana at the end. Uh, but just Jujutsu Kaisen had staying power. It's just, it's just so good. You can it's never too good. It. It's too powerful to be kept alive. Yeah. I mean, as far as like an episode, like, and I say this like every once, uh, every time we watch Jujutsu Kaisen together, I always like, uh, always like say this. So much happens in every episode yeah, you do like, say that a lot. sometimes we'll just sit through like some anime and we'll be like okay nothing's happening oh look nana all died but um like jujutsu kaisen in this episode alone itadori fights junpei he uh has like a heartfelt discussion with him about like bringing him over to the good side that he's not a lost cause yeah like, mojito kills him Ju- and uh, itadori awesome fights fight. mojito <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then yeah. and then uh nanami saves him at the end like that's five like important events that happen in one episode yep i agree so it, it's just you know it's action-packed it's content-packed um it, it's a good it's a good anime period that, that, that episode speaks for itself like if you haven't watched Jujutsu kaisen like just like you gotta like what are you doing you know, like this is this is like what the quintessential, like season? yeah, this watch, is like one of the shonen's shonen's of the year now. You know, like this is probably potentially like anime of the year if uh, if this back half of uh, this first season is so good. Is it that good? Is I don't it know. That good? I, I don't know, Kai. Let's let's date it. Like we'll we'll see at like uh, <laughs> December, Kai of twenty twenty one. How he feels when we do like the full year scope and yeah, uh yeah. see how Jujutsu Kaisen holds up because you know what you're right there's a lot coming back my hero is coming back in the spring you know the three big ones are coming back this coming oh, yeah. season Dr. Yeah, Stone that's Promise true. Neverland ReZero 2021 Bleach dude Bleach oh. is coming I think Shaman King the remake is gonna oh. be fucking amazing yeah. uh watching from the trailers so 
uh you know we're we're slowly you know trying to get past 2020 and it was a very kind of weak year and i think 2021 is starting off with a huge bang uh so our award show voting the ballots are going to be much 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 tougher uh the next time around uh but speaking of that we are finally at the final category uh for tonight's award show uh next up it's anime of the season good anime comes and goes but the best leave a lasting impression on us if there's anything to take away from the we power hour this fall season take these four animes here are the nominees for anime of the season jujitsu kaisen mappa ikibukuro westgate park doga kobo Muno Nanana, Bridge. Tonikaku Koai, Seven Arts. All right, we're finally at the summit of this award show. It's been we're finally going to see. Journey. It's been a long journey. We don't know who's going to win this. But we definitely don't. We will, we will find out right now as I open up this envelope. It's not even an envelope. Stop lying, Peter. <laughs> don't break All the right. immersion. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, the winner. Anime of the season goes to Kamisama Ninata He. <laughs> Didn't even fire the fucking list. <laughs> oh, okay, got it. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> it's yo, 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 guys. Jujutsu, I'm really happy. But I'm gonna let you finish. But I think Akudama Drive, actually the best anime of the season. Like, what are you doing? What are you? If you didn't watch Akudama Drive, what are you doing? Watching Jujutsu Kaisen? Yeah, like, what are you doing? You know, Akudama Drive, best anime of the season. Okay, let's be fair here. Like <laughs> hypothetically, if we had five and Akudama Drive was in this category. It would win. Because at least with the three of us, uh, Lance, Kai, and myself, we would vote in first place. Absolutely. I would like, still I, vote Jujutsu Kaisen in first place. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's how strongly I feel. Shun the non-believer. Wow. Shun, Shun the non-believer. That's crazy. Now, second place for me would definitely go to Akudama Drive. I voted for Kamisama. But- um, <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Get out of here. Real quick on the side, so anime of the season Jujutsu by twenty points. It just uh, when I got the list, it said best anime, so I got it mixed up with best animation, uh, which is Kamisama. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. My bad. I'm definitely not getting hired next season. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Mister Judge. We'll definitely bring you back for the next award show. Oh. <laughs> Um, but uh, any final words, guys, for best anime of the season? Any last words for Jujutsu Kaisen? Any praise we haven't given it yet? I mean, what what can we possibly say that we haven't said in like ten Dude, other we categories? Where it's one Jujutsu Kaisen? It's right? shooting blanks already. Just give it a rest. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you, Weeb and Weebets. This has been the first annual golden weeb awards thank you very so much for sticking with us and watching uh please 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 comment down below uh what you guys thought of it what categories uh we can add in the future uh and if you guys have any uh nomination stuff like that i think the next time we would do uh the golden weeb awards would be uh in july so we're gonna do at least two seasons worth and we're gonna do a halfway point 
uh, to cover uh, those two seasons. Uh, so please uh, keep watching us. Uh, we we are never going to stop doing this because we are absolutely bored out of our minds. There's nothing else to do. Um, but yes, thank you very much uh, for watching. And uh, any last words, guys, before we head out? Tower of God! Tower of God! Tower of God! Tower of God? I just started watching that. Tower of God? Don't you dare fucking put Tower of God! One, that's not even from this year. Two. Best anime of all time. It was in 2020, but oh my back God, it out of here. You fucking watch one fucking funny video about Tower of God on YouTube and you think you can put this in. I don't think so. Don't be surprised if you see Tower of God and best anime of the season next July. God damn it, I gotta find another judge. All right. <laughs> same week time, same week place, guys. Bye. 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 Bye